Welcome to Greenshine Farmer's video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. We, we keep rabbits for meat, as some of you guys know, you've seen our other videos. Um, you know, we've got some rabbits, and these are, these are breeder rabbits. We've got about four right now. And, um, you know, they're, they're in these cages, and they're decently big cages for, you know, in terms of rabbit cages, in terms of what most people keep their rabbits in. But I would like to give them something better. And so, I've been kind of thinking on this for a while, and thinking how can we... You know, how can we give them more area to roam around? We, put, we do put them in the tractors, um, you know, during the warmer months and let them kind of graze on fresh grass. But I would like an even better option, um, especially for our breeder rabbits. And so we've got back here behind the barn, we've got all this space and we've got all this, this is actually rabbit fencing. And we've got all this material in the barn to build a little rabbit run. So what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be fencing an area maybe out to about here, and we're gonna be splitting it up so that we can keep our males and females you know, separate, because that's important. And we're also gonna have an area for them to kinda of duck in to the barn and have an enclosed area that only they can fit through uh, you know, to keep them safe from predators. And then over here we've got this old um, chicken coop that you know didn't really work too well for the chickens, but I'm thinking we could repurpose it for the rabbits and move it kind of into the barn so they can have a little nook inside. Dad, Dad this is where the rabbits are going to go now. Right there, huh? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try to squeeze this old chicken coop through here. I have to clear out some of these boards. Get it right up here against this far wall. So I was able to get it in place, more or less. We've got it just fit. And what we need to do now is to turn it so that that wall is facing no. this side of the barn over here. All right, so we got this somewhat flattened out and level. Now we just got to get this in place. No, now this is ready. So now I can hold it by and It's, uh, it's not moving. There's a rock there. And, uh, this rock is holding up this stump, which appears to be supporting the barn. And, uh, I'm afraid if I move it, this whole side of the barn might collapse. But if I don't move it, I can't fit this thing in. I feel like a moron because I obviously didn't measure very well. Um, I thought, you know, and I guess I just basically used shovels as my measuring tool, so that's probably why. But uh, the pitch of this side and just how close it is on this side it's just not going to work unless I move this rock. So I'm going to get a shovel and uh, we'll see if the barn falls down. It's funny, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing and kicking and cussing this thing. And I'm thinking if this doesn't work, I'm going to look so foolish. And uh, it kind of conjured back to when I first started farming. 
and I was just starting to till up my grandma's backyard and I'm making my raised beds with a rake and I'm adding compost and I'm doing all this. But in the back of my mind, I thought, man, if this fails, if it's just a whole garden of weeds and it's just nothing grows, I'm going to look like such a fool. And I just remember thinking, you know, uh, I'm just going to look so foolish. And that fear of looking foolish actually motivated me to work extra hard. And so, you know, I guess it's still with me to a degree. And I probably look foolish anyway, even if it does work. But, uh, you know, I'm spending, uh, you know, hours putting this, this rabbit run in. But, um, oh well, the rabbits will like it. All right, so we're here in the rabbit pen right now. Owen's giving me a hand and we're gonna to try to finish this up today. So we've got our, our rabbit fence in place. We just need to bury it and we need to put a dividing line right here to keep the males separate from the females. And over here, we've got a little rock wall going to kind of fill in any gaps. So right now we're just trying to stack some rocks in here so that we can kind of secure this and make it just big enough so that a rabbit can kind of slip in. Daddy, I got a rock. You got a rock? Yeah. So then we can take this clay here. See how it's like really squishy? Yeah. And we just pack it in so that the rocks don't move. <laughs> Get a good clump and just pack it in. I got it. Clump. Dad. Mm hmm. I need to. I threw some a lot. I threw some, don't. Daddy. Dad. Don't. We also found this cool bird's nest. Yeah, this was in the uh, oh, cool. this was in that wire. You know what? This would be cool, Odin, hmm. to take it to your wilderness school tomorrow and show everyone. That would be pretty cool. Be cool. Remember how I taught you? We just take it like this, and then put the fence up there, and we just wrap it around and stick it through the back. Can you? I'm just. Here, let me help you. Do the otter. I'll hold the fence. Right. But well, we want to make sure it gets around the wire. So you see this wire? Like, so, yeah, put it around there like that. And then squeeze it through the back side. <laughs> Dad, da. Yeah. Who's that guy? Dad. That's Zev and Daddy. Dad, Dad. Yeah. And put them in the rabbit run and hope that they don't get out. Come here, girl. I'll, I'll She's, a She's a big one. She's a big one. See how sweet she is? She just like lets you like pick her up. Say we just do one at a time. Oh, yeah, Octavia. Oh, look at all this fresh grass and green onions. Skin disease. Oh, Papa. He's like, hey, ladies. <laughs> Okay, so this is the inside portion. 
of this uh, rabbit run. It's got a latch up here, and then we put a board put on the bottom to kind of keep it in place. And uh, yeah, they're in here. The, the three females are in here, so we know if Octavia can fit through, that it's just the right size. In terms, we've got their um, we've got their food, we've got their water, we've got some straw for them to kind of make a little nest. What do you see in there? Who's in there? Is it a bunny? Can you get the wire out of your mouth? <laughs> yeah, silly. <laughs> Anyway, that just about wraps this one up. Uh, I mean, overall, we'll see. It's going to have some kinks to work through, but hopefully it keeps our rabbits safe and allows them to run around and get a little bit more exercise. Uh, makes me feel a lot better about this because um, they can meet together and rabbits are social creatures. So I, I think that'll do a lot for their overall happiness. Um, but overall, you know, time is going to tell how well this system works. We'll definitely keep you guys posted. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.